Hello, Lindsay. I'm Cody's mother. Hi, Mrs. Hernandez. What's wrong? I just wanted to say that we really enjoyed dinner with you last night. And thanks for the scarf. I really love it. No, thank you for your warm welcome yesterday. I'm glad that you like my small gift, Mrs. Hernandez. Cody said that your favorite color is blue, so I chose that one. Oh, sweetheart. Just call me Aliana. Although we've only met once, I really like you. You look so beautiful in real life. The picture of you Cody showed me before doesn't compare. My husband also said that your voice was really beautiful. He likes you too. Thank you. That's so sweet. I truly had a great time with you guys. I have to say that your meatloaf was the best. Wow, thinking about it makes my mouth water. What's your recipe for it? I'm afraid that's a secret recipe, honey. The recipe is from my grandmother, and it's only for the family's women. But you know what? When you and my son get married and you become my first daughter-in-law, you'll be the next person who has that secret recipe. Sounds great. I guess I have to marry Cody ASAP because I can't wait to cook my first secret recipe meatloaf. Yeah, I hope I'll be the first person to try it. Oh, by the way, I've got something to tell you. My family is going on vacation to LA next month, and I would like to invite you to go with us. We're staying there for five days. What do you say? Really? Yes, I'd love to join you guys. Thank you so much, Aliana. You're so nice to me. You're welcome. It'd be a pleasure to have such a lovely girl like you with us. Okay, that's settled. Cody will send you all the necessary information about the holiday later. Now let's get back to our talk yesterday. It was quite noisy in the restaurant, so I probably didn't get it right. Lindsay, what are your parents doing again? Well, my parents own a small lodge in my hometown. Basically, they're just doing some stuff around the lodge. Oh, a small lodge, huh? Yesterday when you mentioned that you're from LA, I thought your parents owned a big hotel or something. I guess I misheard you. Your parents must be busy running the whole lodge on their own, huh? You said a small lodge, so I guess they didn't hire many helpers. Yeah, that's why they rarely go on vacation. That's why when you invited me to join your vacation with Cody and your family, I was so happy. I can't wait for our first trip together, Aliana. It's gonna be fun. Well, yeah. I hope so. You know what? On second thought, I think it'll be better if you still call me Mrs. Hernandez. I'm still not used to being called by my first name by my son's girlfriend. Oh, okay. I got it, Mrs. Hernandez. Good. I have to go out with my friends now. We have a hair appointment in about an hour. Okay. See you soon. Have a good day. Hey, babe. How was your talk with my mom? Oh my god. You won't believe this. She invited me to join your family vacation next month in LA. That's awesome! Yeah, I know. I suggested it to her yesterday after dinner with you. She seemed to like you a lot. Really? Oh, babe, I love you so, so much! You don't know how happy I am now! Huh, <laughs> I'm happy too. This will be your first trip with my family, huh? Yep, I'm so excited. I don't know what to do to calm myself down. Hooray! I'm going on vacation with my boyfriend and his family! Yay! Okay, honey. I know you're happy, but you'll be way happier if you know where we're going to stay during the vacation. <gasps> you tell me, Cody. But I think no matter where we stay, I'll still be this excited because I'm spending time with you. <laughs> this is the reason why I love you. You have such a great positive vibe, babe. Anyway. We're staying at one of the best world-class hotels in LA, named Sanchez Hotels and Resorts. Just so you know, that's a famous hotel chain by the Sanchez. You're from LA, so you must know that hotel, right? Oh, really? Yes, of course I know that hotel. It's pretty close to my parents' lodge. <laughs> I know you're upset, babe. Don't worry, because we'll drop by your lodge to say hi to your parents. To be honest, I really want to stay at your family's lodge, but... My mom has been waiting for her first luxury trip to L.A. for a really long time, so I want to book a more expensive hotel for her, you know? No, that's okay, honey. I'm not upset at all. Really? Yeah. On the other hand, I'm glad that you chose that hotel instead of mine. <laughs> you know what? There's going to be a surprise waiting for you in L.A. What is that, babe? Well, I can't tell you now. Just a small surprise as my thanks for your family's invitation. 
Babe, you don't have to do that. You being there with me is the only thing I want. But you earned it. That surprise is also my thank you for being by my side all the time. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. And you're my everything, babe. I love you. I love you more. I know you don't want me to pay for things when I'm going with you, but it's LA. It's my hometown. I can at least give you a small present from my hometown, right? You're right. I won't ever stop you from doing the things that make you smile. Whatever it is, I'm going to love it. I hope so. Can't wait to see your first reaction. Babe, where are you? You said that you were gonna leave for the airport at 2 p.m., but I've been waiting in front of your house for an hour and nobody's there. Did you forget me? Or did I mishear the time? Sorry, Lindsay. The plan has changed. You can't go on vacation with my family. What? Why? What happened, babe? Was there something wrong with my flight ticket? No. I just think that we're not meant to be. So I can't let you join our vacation. What the heck is going on? Are you breaking up with me, Cody? Yes, I am. What's the reason? Your mom invited me to your vacation in LA, but now you suddenly break up with me? I don't understand what the matter is here. Everything between us is still fine, right? It was fine when I thought you were from a rich family. You said your family owned a hotel in LA, so I thought you were a rich kid. But you told my mom the other day that it was just a small lodge. I asked your friends from college and they said that your family wasn't making much money because your clothes looked so basic. That's why you think I'm poor and I'm not a good match for you? Because my lodge is small and your family is rich enough to pay for a five-day luxury vacation at the Sanchez Hotel? Am I right, Cody? Well, my mom said that you wouldn't deserve to go on this vacation because you're broke, so... Oh, now I see. That's why at first your mother asked me to call her by her first name, but after hearing about my not-a-luxurious big hotel lodge, she suddenly changed her attitude and asked me to call her Mrs. Hernandez. I found it a little bit weird then, honestly. She must have been so shocked that she didn't dare to withdraw her invitation to me, huh? But you, Cody! Why were you waiting for so long to tell me this? Why did you ghost me? You can't blame us, Lindsay. I wouldn't have ghosted you if you'd told me in the first place that your family owned just a little house. Now it's all my fault, right? Wow, you're such an a-hole, Cody. You made me so excited about all of this and then turned me down through a message. You didn't even have the courage to tell me in person, wuss. I can't believe that I packed everything and even prepared a surprise gift for you and your family. You know what? I should thank you for exposing your true face before I let you know who I really am. Huh? What do you mean by that? You'll find out about what I meant in LA, you bastard. Don't try to approach me, village girl. We're staying at a luxury hotel, not a small, faraway lodge. If you try to get in, they might throw you in prison, Lindsay. Ha <laughs> You don't know who will try to approach the other first. I don't understand what you're talking about. We're about to take off to LA. Goodbye, my ex-girlfriend. Have a good vacation, my two-faced ex-boyfriend. See you soon. Hey, Lindsay. Where are you? I've got something to ask you. Hey, little coward. What's up? Shut up. I'm not a coward. And this is urgent. Tell me, where are you? I'm not your girlfriend anymore, so I don't have any reason to tell you where I am. Okay, fine. Just tell me that you're not in LA. It's kind of weird, but I think I saw a girl who looked a lot like you in the hotel this morning. But that couldn't be you because you're still in New York. You're not in LA, right? Oh, that was me. I'm in LA now. What? That was you? How could that happen? I left you behind yesterday. How could you be here all of a sudden? You couldn't catch a flight that quick. Plus, you're poor as hell. You're lying to me. Bad news, Cody. I'm in the same hotel as you. No, no, no. That's impossible. This hotel is full until September. Jeez, you're more stupid than I expected. I thought you would have realized who I am by now. Honey, what is the name of the hotel you're staying at? Sanchez Hotels and Resorts. Why do you ask? And what is my name? 
I mean, my full name. You're Lindsay Sanchez. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Are you an idiot? Don't you see my last name is the same as this hotel's name? Oh my god! Sanchez! Are you saying that this hotel is your parents' lodge? Your family is the owner of Sanchez Hotels and Resorts? Seriously? Exactly. Yesterday, after you dumped me and left me alone in front of your house, I called the hotel and canceled my special order to upgrade your family's room to a suite, which was supposed to be my surprise gift for you. Then I flew all the way to LA in my father's private jet. If you ask, I'm enjoying LA all by myself in the suite. Surprise! You lied about your family? Why didn't you tell me that this hotel belonged to your family when I mentioned it to you before? I told you that I would have a surprise for you, remember? Also, had I told you that, would I have found out how gross you and your family were? Oh my god! I cannot believe this! Uh, I'm so sorry, honey. I made a huge mistake. Please forgive me. Can we start all over again? I promise you that I'll never ever leave you alone. Please give me a chance. <laughs> come on, Cody. You don't have to beg me to come back with you because that is never going to happen. I don't want to be related to you or your two-faced family, you bastard. No, please don't say that, Lindsay. Babe, you know that I love you, right? Give me one more chance to make you smile and be happy. Screw you! You're so sick, Cody. I thought that my fake identity would help me find true love. A person who loves me for who I am, not for my family's wealth. I thought you were different from the other guys, who know I'm the daughter of a hotel magnet. But you literally pissed me off. I don't know whether I was lucky or not to meet you and break up with you. How ironic. I swear I'm different, babe. I won't ask for your father's assets or anything. I just need you. Only you, Lindsay. Wait a second. You're really different. You don't know how wealthy I am, but still annoyed the hell out of me. Well done. Okay, fine. But at least, can you upgrade my room as you promised? You're not ashamed of yourself at all, aren't you? Cody, you know what? Don't try to approach me, city boy. I'm the daughter of this hotel's owner, not your silly girlfriend. If you try to bother me during my vacation here, I might have my people send you to prison, Cody. Lindsay, please. I'm asking for a bigger room. No need for a suite. Can you do that for me? Get the hell out of my life, jackass! During that day, I heard my personal assistant mention that Cody and his mother requested to meet me more than 10 times after I blocked them in all ways. When I was lying at the swimming pool, Cody somehow got a chance to approach me. He tried to persuade me to get back together with him, but I rejected him right away. He'd also tried to kiss me before I called security to kick him out. Only when the police appeared did Mrs. Hernandez have to stop him and get him out of the hotel for a while. Since then, that family has stopped interrupting me. On their last day, I caught Cody hitting on a pool lifeguard girl, but he got rejected instantly because all the employees heard about how terrible he was after the day the police came. When I was back at my college in New York a week later, Cody came and tried to win my heart back a few times with flowers and gifts but he was soon left behind by the other richer and more attractive boys who had just heard about my true identity. Screw them. I accepted none of those jerks. After a year and a half, I graduated and went back to LA to manage one of the hotels in my family's hotel chain. I haven't loved anyone for a really long time, but I find it okay. I'm better off alone than being with a two-faced bastard. Hey girls, if you're single this Valentine, that's okay. We can all buy ourselves flowers and chocolate, right? Love yourself first, and the right one will come along.